especially when it's his own backyard. The dog on the left is trying to intimidate the dog on the right, but he's not leaving without a fight. He strikes first, sending a message that he won't be pushed around. But it doesn't work. Neighbors, beware. This is one fight you wouldn't want to get in the middle of. According to the Humane Society, there are nearly five million dog attacks every year, some resulting in death. What's the cause? Owners who can't control their pets. Tampa, Florida. Vonda Lee Smith thinks that her dogs are friendly, so she lets them roam freely through the neighborhood. But one day, the pit bulls encounter Margaret Cascaden's cat, and dogs will be dogs. In her kitchen, Margaret is startled by the sound of the barking pit bulls. Fearing for her cat's safety, she rushes to the door to let him inside. The frightened cat runs in, but unfortunately, so do the ferocious dogs. The snarling animals knock the disabled woman to the ground. They attack Margaret, repeatedly biting and mauling her. Margaret grabs her portable phone and dials 911. The dispatcher can barely hear Margaret over the barking and mistakes her for a child. Where's your parents? The dogs are attacking her. Right. With all the commotion, it's no wonder the operator is confused. Six minutes into the attack, deputies are dispatched to the scene. I got a unit on the way. Ma'am, we'll be there shortly, okay? The operator keeps her on the line to monitor the situation. Finally, sirens can be heard outside the house. Okay, I hear an ambulance in the background. Yeah. But they can't get in here with the dogs. Help arrives, but the paramedics are not equipped to deal with the savage dogs and cannot gain safe entry into the house. After 18 grueling minutes, police finally arrive. The deputy's there now also, so hold on. As I approached the door, I could see Miss Cascaden laying on the floor. She was covered with blood, and she was just hysterical trying to get the dogs to leave her alone. Deputy Ray bravely enters the house. Oh, God, please, kill them. Given the situation, I had no choice but to neutralize the animals. With the dogs out of the way, paramedics scramble to save Margaret's life. She is rushed to Tampa General Hospital and is placed in intensive care. Eventually they would have killed her because they kept going back and attacking her. After months of convalescence, Margaret is finally able to return home. Next. It's like, you know, driving a car and your steering goes. A panicked horse causes havoc in the grandstand. And parade horses out of control. Plus, a college campus under siege. When good pets go bad. Some celebrities are perfect, but they're not the ones we're interested in. They won't let me on tomorrow. Jaw dropping footage that we're not afraid to use. I think they have to take responsibility for what they've done. We'll stop showing it when they stop doing it. Oh, okay. He just grabbed me and sunk his teeth into me, top of my head. Jamie has made a terrible, terrible error. This week? What's the problem there? TV stars behaving badly. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, Sky One. It's all part of the game. What if the Mazda MX-5? the world's best-selling roadster, inspired an all-new range. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The new Mazda 6. Yeah, zoom, zoom. A car with spirit, zoom, zoom. style, yeah, yeah. but above all, the soul of a sports car.
Nokia 7650 phone, the first with an integrated digital camera. See, snap, send. Nokia, connecting people. Boss in Motion, the new fragrance. Daz, what's Uela shop for in English? I can't believe these came out of a microwave. Surprisingly tasty microchips from the cane. I wash those for you, sir? Madam? Hmm? We've gone to extraordinary lengths to ensure surf removes 99 of the most common stains, including tea, strawberry jam, and coffee. That's guaranteed clean, or your money back. cream for a secure fit and hold. Light with more bite. Rain, rain, rain. Come on, have a chocolate. Make you feel better. Why are we here? Oh. Iron answer. Yeah. 32. Oh. Here. Four. Sheep. Uh, oh, 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 come on! I'm bored. He's up, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Oh, that was brilliant. Just talk. See. Photo messaging from Orange. The future's bright. The future's orange. You never forget your first time. Like your first kiss. The first time you met. What stood out from the crowd? The first time you stayed out all night. Your first job. First holiday. Is that your parents? First match. First goal. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? You remember, Sky One. Because the first time is always the best. Huggin' Dance. Pure film pleasure. For the first time ever on Sky Movies, you can vote for the double bill of your choice. Choose Action Pack Gone in 60 Seconds and a Six Day, or get Girl Power with Coyote Ugly and bring it on. To vote, go to Sky Movies Active or log on to skymovies.com. You decide the winner. A night in with the girls or get the best of the boys. Get interactive with the viewer vote for this Friday on Sky Movies Premiere. The Delta Force are here to save the day in all action hero style at 10 after when good pets go bad. In horse racing, there's a partnership that develops between a horse and a rider. They're a team, trusted friends. But the partnership only works if the rider is in control. If not, both rider and horse can be in mortal danger. Indianapolis, Indiana where harness racing is an exciting but sometimes dangerous sport. This horse, Captain Matthews, and his longtime sulky rider, Terry Leannis, have successfully raced together many times. But today is another story. Captain Matthews begins the race with Terry at the reins. Suddenly, the horse veers out of control, and Terry is thrown to the ground. Going to the gate, the um, horse made break, and I pulled back on the lines, and the bit broke. The left rein breaks, pulling the horse to the right. Terry loses all control. She's flung violently to the track. 
like you know driving a car, your steering goes, and you're just long for the ride. And I sling forward like a slingshot and busted my face up a little bit, and, and the horse was running loose. Only a chain link fence separates the horse from the horrified spectators. He slams into it. The right wheel jumps the fence and smashes into three onlookers. The horse bolts off the track and onto the cement of the winner's circle where he goes down. He tries to get back up but goes down again and again. Once he's finally up, the panicked horse gallops into the crowd and heads straight for the glass entrance of the clubhouse. He's running along the chain length fence and the bike's banging up against the fence and three people got injured in the crowd. The horse runs into the fence, knocking one spectator to the ground. The wheel of the sulky races along the top of the fence, leaving a trail of injured onlookers in its wake. With the sulky still intact, the frenzied horse heads straight for the crowd. So when he hit the winter circle, he just kind of slid underneath the fence and took the race bike with it. Once back up, the frightened horse charges wildly for the plate glass windows of the clubhouse. Fortunately, some of the spectators are experienced horsemen who manage to restrain him before he can cause further injury. Despite the close call, just two weeks after the accident, Terry and Captain Matthews were back on the track and headed once again for the winner's circle. This bride and groom plan to ride off into the sunset, but their horse has other ideas. It rears up, then it spots another horse and decides to stir up trouble. Its trainer tries to bring him under control by screaming at him, but that only makes things worse. The terrified rider of the other horse hangs on for dear life as the two powerful animals square off. Finally, he's brought under control. The lesson here, just because you want to ride a horse, doesn't mean he wants to be ridden. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a circus parade with colorful floats, marching bands, and magnificent horses starts out like an event to remember. But then something goes horribly wrong. A team of horses slams into a broadcast booth, injuring two announcers who were covering the festivities. Shocked parade personnel rush to pull the panicked horses from the wreckage and check on the victims. I'm fine. Right, I'm afraid it's not all right. Thankfully, the injuries are minor, but the scene is a chilling reminder of the destructive power of animals out of control. Colleges are famous for adopting exotic animals as their mascots, so it's easy to feel a false sense of security around them. Although these pets may look friendly on the sidelines. Second chance someday.